Hands on for Smith. Then Smith moves it in. He's a scorer. Shot. High over on the glove side. Derby right back in. Short side. Missed it. Trying to bounce it off the goaltender. Smith. That got deflected. Uh, Gibbons rather. That got deflected. Held in. Boston College putting a rush on here. Smith. Derby. Derby. Stop. Now they have to chase uphill, and it's Nathan Gerby, his fourth goal of the Frozen Four, and it comes off the cycle. Boston College gets the puck deep off the Smith shot, and as they attack the puck, they're going to be first to it. Kenny Ruth has a chance to clear the zone. He does not get it past Tim Coons, and the cycle is created. It's Smith to Gibbons, and Gibbons' is passes. Perfect. It's on the tape. Nathan Kirby does not waste a second. And he's got his 34th in Boston College leads. What's happening? Boston College 0 for 1. No shots on the power play opportunity. A limited one that they had the first time around. Draw one back by the Eagles. Whitney will be playing one of the points. A freshman batted up in the air. Good play by Teddy Ruth. Number 5 on defense that time. Held in though. Eagles. Bertram up front. Whitney at a point. And Jerry will work. On the far side point, and behind the net, they've got Dan Bertram batting at it. Bertram and Sheehan did battle. Puck freed up. Knocked away by Ben Smith on a 12. Big battle. Gerbe's got it. Gerbe moves it back up onto the point. Bertram almost went right by that. Third back in back of the net. Bertram centered on him while Smith was there. Gerbe. Gerbe. Into the middle. Smith shot. Didn't get all of it. Gerbe trying to jam it. Scores! He's got it. Semi-final, Nathan Gerby scored shorthanded on the power play in regular shift. Now he's got one at five on five, and he's got one on the power play again. It's his 11th power play goal, his 35th of the season. And Gerby attacks the loose puck. He's the first guy to the puck. Boston College is quicker to it, and Gerby puts it away. The puck bounces off the boards quickly. John Musa told us that the puck quickly rebounds off the end boards, and Gerby jumps on the loose puck and puts it away. What a phenomenal conclusion to his season so far for Nathan Gerby. Just amazing. Now they got nothing else to do. They get paid whether it rains or not, so what do they get? Might as well sit there and wait for it to dry up. Got a good spread in the clubhouse. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> It's worse places to be. <laughs> All right, Whitney moves it up. Number one uh, freshman scorer in the nation. Number 15 out there for Boston College. Gerby on the near side. A four on three power play for another 23 seconds. Gerby winds up. Doesn't take it. Whitney, look at the room moving in. Scores! Power play goal! It looks like it's approaching midnight, Gary. Cinderella may have the pumpkin come along. Three nothing Boston College and it's as a seat in the usual suspects deal for Boston College at this frozen four. The puck gets onto the stick of Nathan Gerby. Gerby hangs onto it. He waits, he waits, he waits. He finds the open man in the middle of the ice and it's the freshman Joe Whitney. You, you see Pierce Moving to his glove side, this hits the skate of Teddy Ruth. The Eagles get a break. It's a power play goal. They have two of them tonight and lead 3-0. Number five of the year power play-wise for Joe Whitney, a freshman second only to Gerby in scoring on the team. All goals are video reviewed here in the Frozen Four and in college hockey. So they are taking a look at this. Here's the look that they'll get. And you'll see the puck deflect off of Ruth and it goes past the blocker and pad of Jordan Pierce. Here's from the end zone. Look at Ruth, his right foot right there. He goes to block the shot, inadvertently deflects it. It's a, it becomes a perfect shot off of Ruth's foot. And Boston College leads 3-0. Three points for Kirby. He agrees upon because you will always have different looks at the same play, different 
visions of what has happened on the ice. What a big play. So at 15.03, that goal is waved off. And what would have been a 3-2 game remains a 3-1 Boston College lead. And that will be chased back. They let the players skate a little bit here. As Ray was talking about, long delay. So the guys came out on the ice and skated a little bit to try and get the blood flowing again. The faceoff will come down in the Boston College end. And uh, for Kyle Lawson, oh, that's got to hurt big time. Well, you think you're there. You think you're within one. Now they have to dig down deep, find energy, park the disappointment, continue to work, get another chance, get themselves back into it. Use it to fire yourself up. Brock Sheehan, who is working the point all along back there, and there he is. He'll take this one, and it gets blocked out the center. Ben Smith stood right in front of it. They have done that a couple of times in this game. Ah, by Gibbons. Deflected wide of the net. Gibbons will dump it back into Gerby. Gerby, great pass. Score! Oh, my God! between his legs to get it out in front. And it is now a 4-1 game as Nick Petrecki just banged it up top. 35 seconds after the disallowed goal, Boston College comes back with their top line, and it's Smith, it's Gerby, and it's Gibbons on the cycle again. And Smith got it, I apologize. He's the one who got it last. And to compound the bad break, Gerby's pass is a wonderful one. This shot deflects off of Brock Sheehan's chest. Two of the four Boston College goals have deflected top Irish players. Gerby's got two goals and two assists. And the Boston College Eagles lead 4-1. Irish will conclude a tremendous season. Getting to the Frozen Four for the first time. Losing a championship game, but having won a lot, but they weren't supposed to. The final five seconds on the clock, ticking away, Boston College, the Division I National Champions, 4-1 over Notre Dame. Stumped their way through the semifinal 6-1 over North Dakota and another terrific performance this evening 4-1. There's Mike Brennan and Nathan Gerby, championship game losers in back-to-back -back years, but what a frozen four for Gerby. They will conclude the season having won their last nine games, outscoring the opposition 42-14 in those games. Who do you think will be the most outstanding player? Okay, good. Let's get on to Clay. I think Clay's probably talking to him. <laughs> Nathan, three times coming to this national championship game. This year, the team wins it. Why did this team accomplish what the last two Boston College Eagles teams weren't able to do? We've had great leadership from, from day one this year. Mike Brennan and Coach York has uh, done a great job with this team. And, you know, a lot of guys stepped up, Ben Ferriero, Ben Smith, and, you know, it's a miracle year, but third time's a term. Holby Baker, hat trick finalist. You have two great games here at the Frozen Four, eight total points. How could you have had a better weekend, personally? And I don't need Holby Baker. I got the national championship in 2008, and that's all I came to get. How about your goaltender, John Muse? John's been great all year. He's been the best goal in the nation to me. How about your mother in attendance tonight? I know she's very proud of you. This is a special moment for my family. I just want to you know, thank my family. My father, I know you're watching, and uh, I love you guys, and I couldn't have done without you. Nathan, congratulations. Thank you. Back up to Gary. This year, congratulations to North Dakota, Michigan, and certainly to the Fighting Irish for earning their way to Denver. But one team came away as a champion. It's my honor to represent to coach and represent the men's ice hockey committee in the NCAA and give to Coach York and the Boston College Eagles the 2008 National Championship Trophy.